Hey guys, Keith here from Keith Tech Tips. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very useful tool in Windows 10, Command Prompt, aka CMD. CMD is an acronym for command. It is similar to MS-DOS Prompt used in DOS and legacy Windows 9X systems. The command prompt is a native application of the Windows operating system and gives the user an option to perform operations using commands. You can access this interface in multiple ways. For example, type CMD or by going to its original location that you see on the screen. Think of command prompt as an interpreter which accepts the commands or the inputs from the user and translates it into machine language. Here we have several tips and commands for the Windows command prompt that you may or may not have known about before. Everything from customizing the actual command text itself to hidden shortcuts and even outputting the results to the clipboard. Some of these I found out about just recently. So let's get started. The first one is the ability to customize the prompt text in CMD itself. When we run command prompt as an administrator, it shows this path and the windows title is this. Probably shows the path of the user directory if run without administrator rights. Here, we can customize it to whatever we want. You do this by typing prompt, followed by the text you want, for example, Keith Tech Tips. This will now be the text that replaces the earlier path shown. Using the command prompt, space, slash, question mark, shows special codes that you can use to not just have words, but also dynamic information there, such as the timestamp or the current drive and path. For example, we want the file path along with the timestamp in cases where somewhere down the line, we want to check the logs for the exact time the commands were run. To do this, we can look at the special codes and what we would want to type in is prompt followed by the command dollar sign $t Now this is for the current timestamp space dollar sign $b as a vertical line or divider space dollar sign $p that shows the current path followed by the dollar sign G to insert the greater than sign. Now if we do that, it shows us exactly the same result from the code that we entered. The timestamp, then the divider followed by the file path. In case you mess up and want to go back, simply type prompt and then leave it blank. Then hit enter, it will revert to default. It's worth noting that once the command prompt window is closed or you restart it, it will reset to the default path. If you want command prompt to always show the customized path or name, then you have to do a quick change in the registry edit. Open the registry editor. Under computer, click on H key local machine, software, Microsoft, command processor. On the right side of the window, right click and click on new and then click on string value and rename it auto run. Then right click it and click modify and in the value data field enter the command you want to show as default when you run command prompt. Here we're going to use the same prompt command that we used earlier which is prompt command t space command b space command p command g. In the same way the title of the command prompt can be customized too. Type title followed by the text you want displayed on the title bar. This will reset once the command prompt window is closed. To make the customized title as default, follow the same steps that we did earlier in the registry editor. The help command. Type help and hit enter. It will display a list of commonly used commands which you can choose from. Alternatively, you can call up the help list by typing in the command followed by space question mark which will bring up information about that command. We can access previously used commands and use them again or just view them. The first is using just the arrow keys up and down which will scroll through the recently used commands. Just press enter to run that command again or else keep scrolling with the arrow keys to check the previously used commands. To get the history of the commands used in a list form type DOS key DOS key space slash history and it will output a list of commands used. 
A shortcut here is to use the function key F7. This will not only show a list of the used commands, but also allow you to hit enter on the ones that you need to rerun right from that list. If you want multiple commands to be executed in one line, you have to type the AND symbol twice between the commands. For instance, we want to customize the title and the prompt path at the same time. So type prompt with the text that you need, space, AND symbol, you do that twice. Then type in title, space, the title that you want. When you hit enter, it'll do both commands simultaneously. You can do the similar update in the registry editor to make this as a default. In a similar way, we've run another command to change the prompt text and open Microsoft Paint. If you want to copy the output of a command to the clipboard, type in the command help space vertical line space and then type clip. Now when we execute the command, it will be copied to the clipboard. You can then save it for any future need. In an explorer window, you can open the command prompt by typing command in the path line at the top. This automatically opens the command prompt window to that location. Also, you may not know this. You can drag and drop any folder or file in an open command prompt window and it'll automatically paste that file or folder's path. Another one is the ipconfig command. So you type in ipconfig and it'll output a dozen of information about all the network adapters. If you type ipconfig slash all, it'll show you more information on this window that may or may not be useful to you. The next one is to customize the command prompt in general. To get to this, there are two ways. Right click on the title bar and go to defaults or properties or left click on the little icon on the left corner of the title bar and go to defaults. This window will show you tabs where you can customize the font, the font size, colors and the layout too. Using a simple command, you can see all the drivers installed on your computer. All you need to do is run the driver query command and you'll be seeing a list of all the drivers installed along with their name, type and other information. This is one of the very useful CMD tricks to use the function keys. There is a lot these keys can do to improve your CMD experience. You might know that DNS is an important thing you can't ignore when connecting to the internet. To access websites faster, your computer usually maintains a local DNS resolver cache. But sometimes, the cache might get corrupt and you may not be able to access your favorite sites. In that case, you can try this Windows command prompt trick. Type ipconfig slash plus DNS. Running command prompt as an elevated command can be an important task most of the time. This would mean running it with administrative privileges. You can right click on the command prompt and click run as administrator. But if you are someone who needs to use the command prompt quite too often, create a shortcut on the desktop. Right click on it to choose properties. In the advanced option, under the shortcut tab, choose run as administrator. So every time you want to run command prompt in the administrator mode, just click on the shortcut. If you need to know what brand of network card you have, processor details, or the exact version of your Windows OS, the system info command can help. This command pulls the most important information about your system. It lists the information in a clean format that's easy to read. Now Microsoft offers a full list of all of these Windows CMD commands. Check the description below for it. That's all for now guys, until next time.